If you find yourself using a medium and you find yourself got a few shiny bits in your painting, you can take something like artist retouch varnish and you can actually cover your whole painting with a retouch varnish. You can spray this on or you can paint it on like a normal varnish with a thick brush. You need to make sure your painting is at least touch dry before you do this. I've once put re touch varnish on a painting and the whole painting just dripped off the <laughs> to the bottom of the canvas. So you have to be a little bit careful that that you don't make your painting isn't too wet. But the great thing about retouch varnish you don't have to wait six months or a year. Now then you might come over retouch varnish with a proper Damar varnish in six months time if that's what you want to do. I don't varnish anything I paint. The paints are made today that are actually hardy enough, uh, stable enough that you don't really need to varnish anything. Um, and for instance, the painting behind me, I did 18 years ago. And this painting here has never been varnished. And I actually love the matte look. I don't like a shiny look to things. I love the matte look. And if it gets dirty, I can just take a warm cloth with a little bit of soap and water and just wipe it off. So I did a bit of research on varnishing years ago and discovered that it's great if you want to really have your paintings glossy and shiny and light going through. That's perfect and it works beautifully with a lot of paintings. I don't love it, so it's my personal choice not to varnish. Um, having said that, if you want to, as I said, if you've got an area that's glossy here, you can actually leave that glossy area and varnish all around it. If you varnish over that glossy area, you might find that glossy area just gets extra glossy. So some people will say you can even take your liquid or your, um, your medium that you use whatever whatever medium you've mixed up and you can actually put it all over your canvas to even up that gloss there so varnishing becomes a personal thing i may be wrong here but i personally don't feel it's necessary this is me toning a white canvas board with burnt sienna so i put on the pigment then i wipe it off depending on how dark I want it, but just gives a lovely warm undertone. And, you know, it takes... This is me toning a white canvas board with burnt sienna. So I put on the pigment, then I wipe it off, depending on how dark I want it, but just gives a lovely warm undertone. And, you know, it takes the white of the canvas away so that there's a sort of a mid-tone wall.